Hi, my name is Emilia Biffi and I'm a postdoc at Politecnico di Milano in the Bioengineering Department. This is one of my co-authors, Giulia Regalia, a PhD student. In our current publication on biotechnology and bioengineering, we describe the development of an environmental chamber which grows neuronal cultures on microelectrode arrays and measures their electrical activity at the same time. This is a schematic representation of the whole system. A heating bath guarantees the temperature control inside the environmental chamber, while a CO2 gas cylinder and the humidifying module maintain a physiological pH and osmolarity. The chamber has a characteristic dimension of 20 cm and it is made of polymethyl metacrylate, which assures portability and optical transparency. Furthermore, it is tightly closed to maintain sterility and it is provided with openings for medium and drug delivery. Finally, the electronic 460 channel recording is embedded. At the moment, we use external commercial amplifiers and filters. Uh, this is the system we realized. The environmental chamber is connected to the heating bath and uh, to the gas cylinder. The chamber houses uh, uh, neural cultures from microelectrode arrays and these are the boards for uh, signal acquisition. Uh, we currently use the, a commercial multi-channel system for data processing and visualization but uh, the development of a custom electronic board is ongoing. The system was tested in terms of temperature profile, gas flow rate and the medium osmolarity and uh, its performances were compared to that of a standard incubator and the commercial recording system. The environmental chamber assured a temperature control at 37 degrees in red comparable to a standard incubator, in green, and to a commercial recording system, in blue. pH value was maintained constant around 7.4 as in the incubator, while the recording system showed worse performances. Finally, the chamber controlled the increase in osmolarity, which was lower than 15 milliosmol per day. Its performance was comparable to the incubator and better than the commercial recording system. Around glass cover slips and standard 60 electrode MIA biochips were used as substrate for cell plating. Primary neural cultures were obtained from CD1 mice at E17.5. Hippocampi were extracted, rinsed with HBSS and treated with trypsin. Then, cells were resuspended in the plating medium and mechanically dissociated using glass pipettes. Finally, cells were plated at 200 cells per millimeter square on cover slips and 800 cells per millimeter square on MIAS. Finally, cells were incubated at 37 degrees. Glass cover slips were incubated for 21 days and the neural viability was measured with dead life staining. Cell viability was comparable to standard incubators. Then the activity of neurons on MIAS was measured and the signal features were comparable to the commercial recording system. The great advantage of the system is that it improves long-term stability of neural signal and thus allows long-term investigations.
Thank you and now enjoy the reading.